To anyone who knows me, they will probably be very quick to tell you and say that I am not a fan of our country's main export, Tim Hortons. So, Tim Hortons is a Canadian institution that I'm not, like, overly fond of, but at the same time, I recognize that they have cornered the market, so today it's only fair that I look at specifically what donuts are the best from Tim Hortons. So these are all their classic ones according to their own schedule or their own product line, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to try to remember what they are, put them in the right places, and from there we shall begin with the, not Danish, the um, Dutchy, the Dutch one. The raisin and, I don't know, crap. Um, they're not great. I never liked the Dutchies. But at the same time, how can you hate them? They're still tasty. They're still fine. I'm going to make... They're the, they're the average. They're the even. Uh, if that was the apple stuffed donut, the automatic S tier. But it appears that they do not have that in the running. So, I will go there and we can go from here. And what I'm going to do next is we have the Boston Cream. The Baston Cream. What do I think of the Boston Cream? I think the Boston Cream is not great. Never a fan of the cream. I always thought that they got it wrong. I never think that it tastes as good as I want it to. I'm going to put it in the C. It is overly sweet for something that's not super tasty. So if you like the Boston Cream, more power to you and your wrong opinions. But overall, I'm going to say that it's not the best. Actually, like... Any Tim Hortons donuts, I'm looking at this as a sliding scale, okay? Like, all Tim Hortons donuts are, like, underneath the level of every other donut company. But at the same time, you have to admire what they do. Because it does taste the same anywhere you go. And that's probably because they use the same donuts. Baked in one place and then shipped across the world, then comes back. So that when you get it, it's that unique, it's that unique combination of fresh from the oven, and stale as a calendar. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the next one, which is the chocolate dip donut, which is by far my favorite. Chocolate dip donuts are wonderful. So, there's a lot here that is really good. Everyone loves the simple flavor. It's probably my favorite, to be honest. Anyone that comes in there and has that little bit of... They're the ones I go for. Like... Every road trip you go on through Canada, you will always stop at a Tim Hortons, not because you want to, but because it's the place to go. You are on the road for four hours, you stop at a Timmy's, you grab whatever kind of excuse for coffee they have these days, and you grab a donut. At least I do. So I will grab one of these donuts, or one of the other kind of donuts that I like, and I will get a half hot chocolate, half coffee, because that's the only way I can drink their crappy coffee. So... I have strong opinions about Tim Hortons that I have apparently airing in public now, so whatever. Chocolate glazed donuts are fine, but they're not as good as a Dutchie. They are not as good as a Dutchie. So, that's going to stay there. A double chocolate dip donut is a freaking waste. These donuts are always super dry, and they never taste as good as you want them to. They, what, whatever they use for chocolate, whatever sawdust they are using to make these darn donuts, it's not great. And whatever they're using for the flip, like, enhance these suckers. Build them up. Make them special. Make them pop. But this is just, it's not good. Like, it doubles as building material. So don't do it. Don't subject yourself to this garbage. And the only other donut I can just immediately put down here. No one likes plain donuts. If you do, power to you. I think that's great. But no one likes plain donuts. Why? Because they have no flavor. If I want to eat a donut, I want something that I know is A, sweet, B, tasty, and three, bad for me. And this tastes like something that I could get at a health food store. So that's not what... It's not understanding the assignment and because it's not understanding the assignment i'm not gonna go for it crullers they're f fine i guess um seat am i i'm too tough on these donuts aren't i they're tim hortons donuts they're not good they're not they're not bad i'm being too tough on them uh think of the memories think of the happy times think of the happy donuts before 
Life happened. Um, it's still garbage, though. So Crawler stays there. They're just so fluffy, and there's nothing inside of them, and it doesn't taste great, and you don't, wa- you don't want them. You don't want them. No one wants these. Maybe other people do, but no one, do- no one does. Honey dip. Honey dips are great. Oh, honey dips are so good. They're so flavorful. They're so nice. They're so, they're just, they're just chewy deliciousness. Like the honey dip is the Tim Hortons donut done as close to right as you can get apart from the other two donuts that I actually like. So yeah, like honey dip donuts are fine. They're whatever. Leave them there. That's great. Sour cream donuts, also really good, surprisingly. Never thought I would enjoy them as much as I did, but they're one of the few donuts that always have flavor. So that's a plus, but they're just they're a different texture and that stands out it when you're all you have are these little things so we're gonna go into the timbits next because the timbits are just freaking great like timbits automatically could have their own list but i'm not gonna do that instead we're just gonna kind of knock them out of the park here because timbits are automatically better than a lot of the other donuts i can just fill this entire as tier with timbits but i'm gonna try to be as objective as i can and put them in accordingly uh, birthday cake Timbits are good. They're not my favorite. Are they my favorite? They might be my favorite. Maybe they're my favorite. No, they're not. No, they're not. Birthday cake donuts are, birthday cake Timbits are fine. By the way, if you call these donut holes, you are wrong and bad on you. They are called Timbits. They are always called Timbits. You call them Timbits. I don't go for a lot of like cultural branding or whatever, but like they're called Timbits. We call them Timbits. So if you call them anything other than Timbits, you are wrong and you are disrespecting Kennedia. So do not do it. Anyways, chocolate, uh, don't see the chocolate Timbits are, you know, in between these two. It's not as good as a honey. Di- it's not as good as a honey dipped, but it's not, it's a little better than the, than the sour cream donuts. But what makes the chocolate Timbits better? Actually, no, they're a B tier. Uh, what makes the chocolate donuts better is that they the flavor doesn't run out. You don't get tired of it halfway through. They're not as dry as the chocolate don't. You know what? This is this is convincing me to bring this down here. Uh, they're not as dry as a full donut. They still has that nice light sparkle. Uh, they're tasty. They're good. You enjoy them. You like them. You want them. So you eat them. So. What we are going to look at and do is you want to just have those little bits and you want to have a lot of diversity of flavor, which is why the honey dipped Timbits are going to sneak in and steal tier A. And we like that and we want to go for that. We have sour cream down here as well. And I think that's just going to mirror Timbits versus donuts. Are the big donuts better? No, the Timbits are always better. Timbits are always better. So... The exception being, actually, no. The Timbits are still better. Plain Timbits are still better than regular plain donut, which I'm going to stand by. So that's my decision. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm sticking with. Uh, Everyone loves jelly-filled donuts. Everyone. If you don't like jelly-filled donuts, you are lying to yourself and you are lying to me. So don't do that. And finally, my favorite donut of all time is the Gay Sprinkle Donuts because it's, it's sprinkles... It's delightful. It's it's the gayest a donut's ever going to get. And it's just like the chocolate one, only it's with vanilla icing, automatic plus, but also with that crunchy sparkle part on top. So ultimately, sparkle donut for me is number one. So I feel like my uh, tastes here, which I'm using the term generously, uh, I'm going to compare myself to everyone else. So let's see how I do and let's see what do. Well, this was anticlimactic. There are no tears. No one else has done this one. So um, I guess I'm just right. So that's me talking about Tim Hortons donuts. Uh, if you like Tim Hortons, I, I thought I would have more to go on here, but I do not. So um, yeah, that's this is uh This is a disappointing end. So, on that note, hope you like what you saw here. If you like Tim Hortons donuts, tell me why. Don't say nostalgia, because that's the only thing that makes them good. So if you have a legitimate thing that you like about Tim Hortons donuts, please let me know. 
I'm interested. I want to hear. Leave a comment because that helps me out. Also, if you want to help me out, you can like, you can subscribe. And if you like the clothing I usually wear, not today, but you can find my artwork online at the onecheekgeek.com where I sell all of my own original clothing. And finally, if there's ever anything you need, I'm always here. So you can find me online at the Big Shabam on Twitter and Instagram. And finally, if you like what I say and sound like, you can find my podcast, The Canadian in Eurovision, on problematic streaming platform Spotify. So until next time, folks, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I love you. Bye. Have fun. Tutu.